Hello, this is Amir Wee on this Capcanet on my video. It was done using a, a red drilled temporal bone that was used for cochlear implantation treatment. And I hope that it be very helpful for you. So, this temporal bone was a red drilled. And this is good because you can see uh, different vision. We can use the etichotomy to see inside the middle ear, like the microscope vision. And we can see uh, the inkles in the place and without the inkles view. This is the posterior F tympanum space. In this video, we are going to see the facial nerve down, the lateral canal is closer to the facial nerve. We are going to be able to see the aditus adiantrum and the mastoid cells, the tegment tympanic. And it's very important for us because using the microscope, it's impossible to see this area. The endoscope has made it possible. So we have a clear vision of everything that happens inside this area. And we can take a look and look for cholesteatoma. The posterior view. This is anatomical stuff that we have made for be easy to understand everything that we need to say. This is a good view from the point. You can see that the ground window was drilled. And right now we are seeing from a different way. Uh, it was drilled before, so right now we can see from the edicotomai inside the middle ear. This is a diagram to explain everything. The facial, the stapes and platicles. And uh, on the right side, you can see the facial nerve and the cochleariform process. It's a nice view because when you see this facial nerve, it is coming from inside. And uh, right now, the oval window and the facial nerve without the sequels, we have uh, perforated. And right now, we can see the epitympanum and the cochlear form process without the malleus in front. Well, to get a better view, we are going to put out the malleus and it's not so hard. We are using a usual iron stuff that we use to do surgery. And right now we are going to put out the stapes and the inkles. And we are going back to get the malleus that was in the potympanum and to remove it completely. This is the facial area. I have done this anatomical view, so you can see the structures. Well, we are going to see inside the facial area. We are at the facial recess. We can see the stapes, you can see the inkles, you can see the malleus. Right now, we have removed the bones. We are open the canal, and we can see the facial inside. So. It's a simple way to be able to go and to open the facial nerve and to be able to manipulate it. So right now we are manipulating the facial nerve. We are closer to the oval window. You can see the small bones are going to the oval window area and uh, right now have exposed so we have done the, a good exposure and we can see the facial in our hands in the iron and you can see as well the PMDAL process This is the hypotympanum space marked with the arrow that show in the correct space. Uh, we will be able to see the round window niche to above the hypotympanum. Right now we can go a little more deep, deep inside in a different kind of vision. 
that's not so usual. This is a, li a live tissue, a live, uh, it was a surgery, doing the surgery, and we can see places that are not so usual. Posterior space to the anterior space, but we can see here the coccyx form process, the facial nerve, and tensor tympans as well. And in this part, we are going to be able to see the core tympan in this anterior section. So this is a very important place. We can see the facial and the tensor tympan as well, and you can see the cochlear form process we are able to see uh, some structures that right now we are trying to open to get the tendon you can see that we are touching the cochlear form process and we are going deep inside open the canal to be able to get the tendon and it's a nice view. Here's the tenon, and the tenon is going out right now. This is the Eustachian tube and the carotid area. We are trying to see the Eustachian tube and tensor fold. Here we can see the tube. Right now we are going, we are moving to the tensor fold, and it is under the malleus. The nice view. Right now, we can see the tensor tympani, the tube, and the carotid area. And a little more deep inside the tube, with zoom, we're going to be able to see the tube very well. So that's done, and I hope that it could be very helpful to you. Thank you.